We are Drift Happens team competing in Pro M class in Czech Drift Series and this year 2024 we are using max speeding gross parts in our newly built drift car. Good morning. I am Valerie, more known as uh, Drift Happens guy, and today together with the max speeding gross, we will be answering some behind the scenes fun questions about my drifting experience. Uh, my first win was with another car, it was a street car and it was back in 2021 I think. It was the very good feeling for me because uh, before that we were not sleeping several nights and days. Uh, because because before of this competition I killed one engine and I had to swap it for another engine and it was that time 2.8 BMW E36 and we started the car one hour before leaving to the competition so on Friday after lunchtime we started it and on Saturday I had my first win was really really nice feeling and unbelievable that time it wasn't a lot of power or anything but a lot of fun because one set of tires was enough for the whole weekend in 2018 i think uh when i even didn't think about drifting and didn't know much about it i owned a mazda Mirada MX-5 and B, I think, in a green, green, beautiful color. And the plan was to have a stance car for the shows. But one time when it was raining and I had an open leaf, I tried to do a donut and it changed my life. So now we are here with this 500 horsepower car. And just a spoiler. Miata wasn't a stance car, so it got suspension, welded diff, handbrake and turbo. The donut was okay, not too good, not okay, because of the open diff. But I enjoyed it a lot and I first time saw the smoke from the car and it wasn't from exhaust saying that the engine is killed, but it was actually from one tire. And yes, it was unbelievable for me. From the time when I noticed that I can uh, do whole weekend without any unexpected turns or uh, unfinished laps, I felt pretty confident about the qualities and about my runs. But anyway, I cannot say that I feel too confident uh, when going to any competition because this is the best part of the drifting that anyway, after drifting for five years, you have this uh, strange fe feeling inside when you are going to the competition and you're a bit nervous, shaking hands. So confident, but still having here a thought that there is still a lot, a lot of stuff to work with and to learn. Uh, actually, there are two lessons for me. One is more fun, another one is more practical. So let's start with the fun part. Uh, when you have a feeling that you are going so close or too close to the lead card, then you should go closer. And another practical one, uh, always, always, always check water temperature and keep your engine safe. If you don't, you can see very beautiful fountains coming from your engine and it's not healthy at all. And after this fountain, uh, you will have a lot of beautiful days and nights with your friends and garage because you will be swapping your engine or at least the head of the motor. When we go to 
competition, uh, we have two options. Sometimes it's very close to our house where we live in Czech, in Prague. Uh, so it can be one hour from my home. And sometimes we have to go far, far away, like from five hours to 20 hours from home. Uh, it starts always on Friday. We are trying to have everything done on Thursday, but it doesn't work all the time. Because anyway, besides this stuff, I have to do some work in the office. So when I have time, I prepare. When I don't have time, I do everything on the last moment on Friday. And it looks very, very chaotic and crazy because I have to resolve a lot of things like uh, have the car prepared with oil changed, uh, have the tires at least 20 because we are not running only new tires but also old ones and the consumption is bigger than with the new tires uh, to have all these pairs and we have a lot of them we have the whole suspension for the car we have uh, engine parts we have uh, many many different small parts so it is a bit difficult to not forget anything and just a spoiler we often forget a lot of things and of course the food for the team and water, drinks and everything. So it is a bit chaotic. And another part of drifting is check. It is very difficult to resolve any problem or to buy any parts on Friday because everything is open like till 11 or 12 o'clock and not in the night, but in the day, yes. Because everyone loves to travel and everything is closed. So if you forgot to buy anything before Friday, uh, we got a situation. And after such day full of everything where I don't have time for anything, and basically I have a feeling that I didn't do anything because I was doing too many things at one time, we have to drive like 10 hours and I have to do it myself because I'm the only guy in the team who has the license for the trailer. and my beloved track in uh, Europe is uh, Mariapoc in uh, Hungary because it is too scary there are a lot of balls on this track but the infrastructure there is so beautiful you have a beautiful nature you have uh, showers you have uh, restaurants there you have clubs there and you have a great great paddock and the track is just amazing. The speed, the turns, the walls and everything. So my last experience and first experience with this track was with another car, with BMW E30, last year. And it was amazing, I couldn't believe I'm doing this. Uh, this is the positive part of this track. And another part, another side is that it is almost 900 kilometers from us. So we cannot attend it too much, but of course, when we have the opportunity, we are. Uh, on this track, there are competitions like Drift Masters, Drift Kings, Track Route, and also Czech Drift Series is participating in there. Last year on a uh, very important competition for us because it was in terms of Czech Drift Series on Slovakia Ring. Uh, when we came to the place, we understood that we forgot the lift for the car. And if we were doing the time attack, attack or something, it would be okay. But we were doing the drifting where you have to change your tires quite often. Uh, being an introvert, it was quite difficult to resolve the situation because you have to talk to people and I was resolving it like that. There was uh, a shop to change your tires, so I was going to the guys with my two wheels, lifting the car, changing them and thanks a lot to these guys, they gave me the lift uh, for use for the whole weekend after I visited them like five times because my car at that time was too loud 
and they couldn't resist having me in their garage. So they just gave me the lift and asked to return it back on Sunday. Of course, first is checking the car. Even if we did it right after the competition and the car was just staying on the parking. Anyway, before going on the trailer, it is being checked. And right before the race, for example, before the quali, singing inside the car. And always these are different songs. We don't get a lot of sleep before the races and if we get the time we cannot sleep anyway but the longest was uh, during the trip to Romania to Transalpina so these were two races very close to each other one in Czech Republic and another one in uh, Romania so when I came back home from uh, Czech GC series uh, competition we had to repair the car because it went through a lot of things during the weekend, starting from leaking suspensions, uh, braking lines, fuel lines, uh, also problems with the body, and many, many other problems. I don't know how it happened during one weekend, but we had time from Monday to Wednesday to repair it because we had to start our journey to Romania on Thursday. So a lot of sleepless nights that time. And after that, on Thursday, uh, the trip took us like 18 or 16 hours going through all the Romanian mountains. And also after that, when we came and saw the track, uh, we had some drinks, food and everything and still had to do a lot of things on the car and resist the storm which was in the mountains and we couldn't sleep because of that and also then we had whole weekend with very little sleep drifting is scary difficult and very beautiful at the same time and the thing i hate and love about it is the technical part when you can uh, lose or win just because of uh, some uh, technical issues or when your car doesn't fail and another car fails so this is beautiful and worst part of the drifting action but uh, i had to deal with a lot of things uh, during drifting and uh, the most memorable uh, situation was uh, with my another BMW E30 when I had to pass the quali with leaked out uh, front suspension. It was an old suspension uh, from KW, I think. And right before the quali, last training, it leaked out. Uh, what we did. We put the spring really in the maximum position we could to have at least some pressure on uh, on the suspension and without the steering wheel because the car wasn't going uh, after the steering at all only on throttle I had to pass the qualification I think we did it for 58 points last year and we had like another nine hours to change everything, to check the suspension and to do the alignment. We enjoyed it a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, the background of the drifting or another side of the drifting which is not really uh, often seen in the paddock when you see those beautiful cars. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, leave a comment below or share this video with your friends. Uh, if you meet us on any of the events, just don't hesitate to come and say hi and uh, maybe ask more questions that you might have. This was a fun video and the fun part of the drifting, uh, which we love so much because uh, we think that this sport is very, very beautiful and uh, very new 
and very interesting and it changes you as a person so we're gonna continue to do what we do and hope to answer more of the questions because uh, we want to share our experience of drifting because we do it for some time and for someone who is only starting to do it uh, it might be quite interesting this is my life my passion uh, it takes mostly all of my time but I love doing what I'm doing and if you are in the beginning of your uh, drift journey and it looks scary for you uh, I want to encourage you that it's not so scary as it looks like you will learn a lot of things you will have a lot of new friends new experiences and don't be scared that's fun not expensive but still fun you will enjoy it every day doing you'll have some troubles but also besides these troubles you will have a lot a lot of uh, good feelings uh, and positive experience so if you're chasing your dream to start drifting start doing today because there are too many possibilities in the world today.